Welcome back guys. I am over at Eric's shop again today and we are gonna try to put some more work into the Porsche to get further along with this. In the last video, I showed you the new turbo and the, uh, the new valve cover that we created. And today we're gonna try to finish all the little machine work on the valve cover so we can get that sorted out. Um, but what I should do is share a little bit more about the, the valve cover. So this right here, is the prototype or the plastic version of the valve cover that I created. Uh, it is 3D printed and it's what I used as the mold for the aluminum valve cover. One thing about sand casting is it's very difficult to cast these little intricate spaces, these tight spaces. So what they had to do when casting this was fill this in, which created a big problem for us. So this is filled in on the aluminum one and now we have to machine that groove out so that we can fit a gasket in there. Um, also, one other thing we need to do is machine out these spots so that we can fit the OEM style seal. Um, so we're gonna take, try to take care of that today. I uh, have a bunch of bits and Eric luckily has a uh, mill that we're using and we've done a whole bunch of it so far, making some good progress. We have machined out most of the spots of this for the gasket. There's a little bit left to do. We have to obviously turn it a bunch and try to hit these angles, but we are almost done and it is almost ready for the gasket. And then we can move on to uh, machining out these spots. So let's, uh, we'll continue working away at this and try to get this finished today. And then hopefully move on, depending on how, how we do with this, I hope to, that we can work on the turbo manifold a bit today. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm almost all done with machining for the, uh, the groove for the gasket. This has taken, I don't know, maybe three or four hours total time, which is a lot of time, but it is what it is. This needed to be done. But anyways, the final, final little section is over here. I had to rotate the whole vise so I could get a nice straight angle going this way. And I just have to finish up this little tiny section and then everything is done. It's been tedious, but totally worth it and kind of gratifying uh, to have all this machined out by myself. So, all right, I'm gonna finish it up and we'll uh, check how the gasket fits once I'm done. All right, guys, it is all machined, ready for some test fitting. Um, I was able to re basically machine this groove for the gasket so it can use an OEM gasket. Um, it was, it was a fair amount of work to get this done, uh, a bit tedious in certain spots like here and all down through here, doing it manually with a conventional vertical mill. But in the long run, I think it was totally worth it. It ended up working out well. So um, I also was able to machine these little pockets so that it could accept OEM seals for, this, for the spark plug tubes. And yeah, uh, we've been kind of test fitting it just to make make sure all of these holes are in the exact right spot so we can bolt it down so but i think we're at the point where i can bolt it down and test fit it so why don't i bolt it down and let's see how it, see how it looks actually guys before i put it on before i bolt the valve cover onto the engine for final test fitting i do want to just take this opportunity to share with you how low profile it is compared to the stock valve cover that we started with and we're modifying and ended up with now here as you can see it is significantly lower profile. Um, if I grab a tape measure, this valve cover is basically three inches where a stock one you can probably see is about five and a half inches. So you gain two and a half inches of clearance with this valve cover design. And like, that's huge. Um, one area that's always a problem with that, with the like K-series swaps and different cars is this area. A lot of times it hits the hood but I've lowered it even in that area. So it's a good, at least an inch lower in this area versus that. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool and I wanted to take this final opportunity to share with you how low profile this valve cover is compared to the stock one. So anyways, uh, let's go test fit it on the, uh, the engine now. Let's see how it works. 
All right, guys, we have the valve cover on. It's, as I showed you, it's all machined now. We did end up clearancing a bunch of the holes a little bit to make them fit, but we've bolted it all down. The gasket's in place. It fits amazingly. Uh, I don't know if I shared this before, but these are the Skunk 2 low profile valve cover bolts, fasteners, whatever you want to call them. And they are awesome. The only issue is uh, when you buy a regular kit, they actually don't have enough to, to do it all the way I need to do it. So I'm going to have to buy a second kit so I have enough. But temporarily to make this work, I got some stock bolts and threaded them all the way down so I can so so that we could test fit it and i am super impressed this is has come out so cool uh we have a few little things to do it needs a little bit of finishing work to to grind down a few spots to make it nice and smooth and we have to figure out exactly where we're going to put the oil filling hole i'm thinking somewhere along here with some sort of flush mount uh and fitting type setup or something along the top here because th there's enough clearance up top um and then I will have to weld on some bungs on this side for a, ca a catch can setup. But other than that, oh, and drill and tap these little indents so that we can, that will allow us to bolt, when we install the coils, they'll bolt down through that little hole. Um, but yeah, once, once all those details are finished, then I want to send it out for powder coating and Eric suggested a cool color and I think we're gonna do it that color, and I will share it with you once it's done. I think it's gonna turn out super cool. We uh, we didn't actually get to, to work on the turbo manifold today. We're gonna to save that for the next time I'm here, probably next week, hopefully sometime. And because we're waiting on one piece, I had ordered a whole bunch of vibrant stuff to make the manifold, but we still need one more piece to, to finish it off. So, once we get working on that, I will share the progress on that. I think this is going to turn out super cool the way we have it planned. So I hope you guys are interested in waiting and seeing that. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye now.